Hi everyone, welcome back to a new fragrance video. I haven't sat down to film a video for this channel in a while, but today I have sort of a mini haul for you guys. I'm gonna be reviewing two new perfumes that I'm very excited about. So I hope that you'll enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not already, and let's get into it. I wanna first talk about the fragrance that was gifted to me by the house Veronique Goodbye. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, not great with the pronunciations, but I was really honored to receive a fragrance from them because they're just a really lovely niche house. And then I will also share with you guys my thoughts on the new Kaoli fragrance that I have here after this one, but I wanted to talk about this first. So I just love the packaging of these, so gorgeous. I don't know if it's all showing up on camera because it might be a little overexposed. The light is pretty bright coming in through my window today. So anyways, you just open the box like this and then the fragrance is inside. I really love this like blue color. I think it's really pretty. And then their bottles are these beautiful gold bottles. They are clear on the side so you can see the juice. This really beautiful cap, very good quality and like heavy duty. And this perfume is in the scent Noir de Mai, which is a rose fragrance. I'll pull up the notes for you guys in a second. But this one, as soon as I smelled it, it smelled expensive to me, like very high quality. And like I said, obviously the packaging feels very high quality too. I did a little like unboxing TikTok on this over on my fragrance TikTok if you guys wanna check that out. I haven't been posting as much on there lately, but I'm gonna try to be more consistent with it um, going forward. So let me just pull up the notes for this. So like I said, this is a rose fragrance. It's very deep, sensual nighttime rose. The notes on this are top notes of dewdrop, middle notes of rose de mai, and C notes, and base notes of woody notes, amber, and oak moss. So I wasn't quite expecting the scent I got out of this because of that dewdrop and those C notes. I thought it was going to be a little bit fresher or maybe have a fresh element to it, but to my nose, this is a very deep nighttime scent. It definitely has that woody and amber quality to it and I feel like you can kind of smell the oak moss too. It adds like a really, like I said, sensual element to the scent but I definitely feel like this is a nighttime fragrance for sure. I would personally not wear this in the daytime, I don't think. Maybe to like a really fancy event or occasion but majority of the time I would keep this to a nighttime fragrance. It's very deep it's very strong. This is like a beast mode perfume. Like it really projects and lasts and you can smell it like the whole time you're wearing it on yourself, which can be kind of rare for fragrance because you get nose blind to it. I sprayed it on my arm earlier and I do feel like the rose is more prominent in the opening when you first kind of smell it out of the cap or first spray it. And then when it dries down on your skin, the woody notes and the amber comes out a little bit more, but I do like this scent. I think that it has really good performance. I just think because it is such a strong, deep scent, I would reserve it for very specific occasions. It's definitely not an everyday scent to me at all, but I definitely would be interested in trying out more fragrances from the house of Veronique Goodbye. There's something about a luxury fragrance that just makes you feel very put together and this one is definitely like it smells like it's worth the money it smells high quality and expensive which is what you want if you're spending that amount of money on a fragrance so let me know if you have tried any perfumes from this house i would love to hear your thoughts if you have any favorites let me know in the comments down below let me know if there are any other niche brands that you want me to review or try out the perfumes. I do feel like I need to wear this one a little bit more, like to go out to see how I feel about it in those situations, because I've mainly just worn it here at home. I haven't really been out much since I received this. So that is Noir de Mai. Again, 
Hopefully I'm pronouncing everything right. This is one of those perfumes that I just wanna keep in the packaging, even though I'm probably not gonna do that. I will display it with my other perfumes, but it just looks so pretty in here. Okay, and then the other scent that I have here is from Kaoli, and this is actually my first Kaoli perfume, which is crazy because it's such a popular brand at this point, and I feel like so many people love their fragrances and a lot of people have tried them since they are available at sephora and a little bit more easily accessible than a lot of high-end fragrances out there so this is their newest perfume it is called yum pistachio gelato 33 so they all have like a number after the name of their fragrances so i got it in this little mini size that they carry i am obsessed with these and i've been wanting to get a little perfume like this forever but i thought they had discontinued them on Sephora because now they have the travel spray, like the regular rollerball looking type of deal, but it's in a travel spray, but they still on the website, at least on Huda Beauty, they have these little minis available, which are, let's see, 0.34 fluid ounce, so 10 mil, which is a pretty good size, about the same as what a travel spray would be, but you get the look of a bottle, although, this bottle looks different than the full size. It's just a simple clear bottle with the juice inside. And the full size bottle is like a light green frosted bottle with a white lid. So that is really pretty, but I actually really like the look of this. Just simple clear and gold packaging with the kind of uh, muted green juice. I just think that it's really classy looking and pretty. So I do really like this packaging. So this scent was marketed as being like a sweet, yummy gourmand. Like it's called Yum Pistachio Gelato. It's supposed to smell like ice cream or gelato. And I have noticed from reviews that a lot of people are a little bit disappointed because they feel like it doesn't smell like the marketing. And while I do agree that yes, it doesn't smell you know, overly gourmand in the sense of like being cakey or caramelly. Um, I would still consider this a gourmand. And honestly, I was kind of surprised by the reviews when I actually got my nose on this because I watched a few reviews and then I got this in the mail and smelled it and it wasn't what I was expecting. I was really expecting more of a fresh, clean kind of scent because that's what people were saying that this is. I don't know if it's just my nose or what but I haven't really felt like I got too much of that like yes when you initially spray this if you spray it just into the air I do get a little bit of a freshness to it like a clean kind of vibe I wouldn't even call it soapy but a little bit maybe like a clean vibe just right when you spray it into the air but for me, when I spray this on my skin or on paper even, I get the pistachio right away and it very quickly starts becoming a little bit airy and powdery in like a marshmallowy way, kind of like a like an airy whipped cream vibe, a little bit lactonic. I wouldn't call it milky fully, but in an airy way, it does have sort of a lactonic milky whipped cream kind of quality with the pistachio like the pistachio the nuttiness is very very prominent in this perfume it's the first thing you're gonna notice and again i don't know if it's my nose if it's the perfume but usually when people say that a perfume isn't as gourmand as they hoped i don't usually end up liking it very much because i really like a sweet gourmand perfume but this one to me does have a lot of sweetness to it. So it wasn't disappointing for me. And yes, you know, it's not overly sticky sweet in like a cakey way, but I didn't expect that because it says pistachio gelato. And I do kind of get a little bit of a, like an ice cream vibe from this. And like I said, the freshness in this just really dissipates quite quickly. Not that it goes away entirely, like there is some lightness to this throughout the fragrance, but it just has that creamy, airy vibe to it enough that I would consider it, like I said, a gourmand scent still. Um, I wish I had like a little paper to spray this on so I can kind of spray it again as I'm talking about it. Yeah, I get so much of that nuttiness and that pistachio right away and it does have a lightness to it, a slight, slight clean vibe right in the beginning. 
but it very quickly becomes sweet, airy, kind of like a whipped cream. Oh, it's so yummy. Like I actually really, really love this scent and it pleasantly surprised me to wear, like I wore it to bed the other night after I got out of the shower, I just put one spray on my chest and I could smell it the whole night, but like not too strong. It was just very like delectable smelling, very like sweet and soft and fluffy and kind of like the perfect scent to fall asleep to and just like really pretty and I don't know I guess I just didn't expect to love it as much as I do because of the reviews a lot of people were saying it's nice not really their favorite scent I can't say it's the best thing I've ever smelled but it is one of those scents that I find myself wanting to reach for in the last few days like I want to grab for it I want to spray it on it just smells really cozy but not in like a super like wintry deep way at all like obviously this is like a spring release and I think that it kind of fits for this time of year it's a really good spring scent but it's like still a sweet scent and I can't remember all the notes that are listed in here I know it has whipped cream marshmallow rum um pistachio obviously I'm just still really surprised by how different this kind of smells to my nose you know it's not a sticky sweet gourmand like how many times can I say that but it is kind of what I expected to be honest it's kind of like what I wanted from this fragrance when I saw it because of the fact especially that that slightly fresh quality just dissipates so quickly like it's really not there long like i said keep that in mind it's an airy vibe it's light which i really really like and personally i have never smelled a nutty fragrance that i love as much as this one i really don't generally go for a really super strong almond or you know whatever other popular notes there are out there for like a nutty scent I do like it in the background and I have perfumes that I like that have those sort of notes in the background but none that are so prominent as this one that I ended up just really falling in love with and so far I have really been falling in love with this one. So very happy to report that. Um, obviously I you know, understand why a lot of people were disappointed. It's not like pistachio caramel, you know, it doesn't smell like candy, but it wasn't named baklava, you know, like I do think the marketing could have been done a little better, but I don't think it's totally on another realm or completely opposite of what they did with that. So anyways, I could ramble about this perfume forever. I feel like I have a lot to say about it, obviously, but it's getting repetitive at this point. So that is sort of my little review on Kaoli Yum Pistachio Gelato. Very excited to have my first Kaoli fragrance and I really want to try more. I love the packaging, especially these little bottles. And now that I know they're still available, I kind of want to get like all of them in this little bottle. I just think it's so cute. Okay, it is really, really bright in here and I'm super overexposed. So instead of trying to change the settings on my camera, I'm just going to end the video now. I hope that you guys enjoyed my reviews. I will have the, both of these fragrances linked in the description box. Thank you so much to Veronica Bai for sending me this fragrance. This video is not sponsored. They just send it to me to try out, so I'm really grateful to them for that. I'm always appreciative when brands want to send me things. So that is going to be it for me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.